I am so late on getting to this. Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Muggle Magic. Today I'm going to be opening Cherry Wallace's Curation of Magical Curiosities for uh, Christmas, her holiday edition. This came at least a week ago and I just have not had a chance to even open it. It's been like killing me. And it came with this tube sort of outside the box. So yeah, I haven't opened it yet. It was, it was mailed like this, which is totally fine. I can understand the tube probably wouldn't fit in the box. If you don't know who Cherry Wallace is, she's another YouTuber. She and Geek Gear basically put this box together. She chose all the items, designed things for it. I helped with a couple of items in here as well. And yeah, so this is her holiday edition box uh, from Cherry Wallace, powered by Geek Gear. So yeah, let's get this open. I really wanna see what's inside. And I will try and get you guys a little sort of sneak peek in there. Oops, there you go, it's a better, a better look. Happy Christmas, Neville. Oh, dear friend, I couldn't risk sending Hedwig. Ever since the World Cup, the ministry's been intercepting more and more owls. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, hold on a sec. Okay, yeah, so that's a nice little uh, letter from Cherry and it says, uh, Happy Christmas, Neville, on the other side, which is nice. All right, so let's dive right in. We've got uh, green and red for Christmas for the little packing crinkle paper. And first item, it is a pin, and it is a Hogwarts wreath pin. I actually really like this pin. Let's get this open so we can get a better look at it. So we've got the wreath with the Hogwarts logo. Um, this is really cool. I like the quality of this. It has the Deathly Hollows symbol down there. It has gems or uh, emeralds or whatever they are kind of embedded in it. This is really nice. I like this. This is a good, and you could easily kind of turn this into a Christmas ornament if you really wanted to. Um, yeah, very nice. Okay, moving along to the next item. There's a, a big Christmas gift in here that's wrapped. I'm uh, probably going to open that close to last, if not last. But let's open this one up. This one has keys on it, and oh, it's just like a Harry Potter pattern, but it looks like a, a small Christmas box. So let's open it up. And inside, what have we got? Ah, I knew it, I saw the keys first. It is a flying key um, ornament. I believe it's an ornament. Here we go, yes. I wanna make one of these at some point, but here we go. It is a flying key. It could be an ornament, or you know, if, if your neck's small enough, that could be a necklace. But yeah, there you go. That is really cool. And I'm gonna put this on my tree. Um, another box, this one's just very plain, uh, uh, just like, you know, brown paper, sort of recycled paper. And it has uh, a bow on it right there that's just kind of tied with twine. So this looks like Owl Post. Oh uh, yes, it says Owl Post service on it. So it is Owl Post. Here we go. Let's see what's in here. I have no clue what to, I'm going to find. Oh, okay, cool. This is a remember all. This is really cool, actually. I wonder if it opens up. Ah, oh, it doesn't open up. I wish it opened up, that way you could put things inside of it. But yeah, that's very cool. Little remember all. This is gonna go on my shelf behind me. The next thing we have is in this curiously uh, packaged thing with, box with a uh, a crown on it, it looks like a king's crown. Um, it has, you know, well, you can see it. I don't need to explain the entire box to you. So here we go, what is this going to be? Oh, wow, this is a chess piece. Ah, oh, this is cool, this is the queen. That would be really cool if this was like an ongoing theme and every box you got a different chess piece. That would be really cool. Oh, I love this. This is so far my favorite item in this box, but we'll see, there's a lot of crinkle paper. Just trying to get it out of the way. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, let's go ahead and open this one. This is the big gift, but I see that there's some other stuff in there, and I see another item that I was kind of um, spoiled on just because it's hard to scroll through Instagram sometimes and not see things like this. Oh, okay, I think this is a scarf, and I like the colors. It looks like a, a Weasley scarf. This has got some really good quality stuff in. 
By the way, I forgot to mention, this is the Maxima box. So this is like the more expensive box that had extra items in it. I don't know if you would have gotten all of this in the, um, the regular box. So there's that. But let's open up another, another item. This one is, uh, what could this be? Oh, it has the Yule ball all around it. I wonder if this is like one of those pumpkin juice bottles. Oh my God, if that's what this is. It is. I will never put anything in this bottle, for sure, because I don't want to ruin, but look how cool that looks. That looks really amazing. And the pumpkin on top, I think that might actually be plastic. No, it's not plastic. It's um, probably resin. But the bottle itself is glass, and it has this really cool snowflake on it. So far, everything in here has been really cool. <laughs> so let's uh, move along. Happy Christmas, Harry. Uh, Happy Christmas, Ron. So this is Harry and Ron? Hmm. Oh, well, that's clever. This is cool. So it's like almost like they're uh, sweaters that they got, but it's gloves, and you have one of each. Let's see how well they fit. I want to see how comfortable they are. Actually, I think these were like made for my hands. Somehow they knew, because these actually fit my hands like perfectly. There's, and I know that it's one of those one size fit all things, but it's not like stretching much at all. This is like, th these are mine, but it's too hot to wear these inside, but I will wear, th wear them outside. And, we have the Chudley Cannons. This is awesome. I just need to take a second because this is this is really good, really good stuff. If if Cherry Wallace ever does another box, you should get it because all of this stuff is awesome. So here, this is definitely going to go up on my wall somewhere. Hopefully, I'll be able to get it in uh, the shot behind me in some of my videos, we'll see. But this is definitely going up. Okay, so this, I can kind of see the silhouette of. I'm gonna set it aside because I know exactly what it is. And we're gonna go straight for, okay, so this is the cheat sheet. I'm gonna put that down and not look at it. But yeah, oh, cool. Okay, so this is artwork. And I'm sure that Cherry uh, painted it or drew it. I'm not sure if she paints. Looks like it might be um, watercolor, possibly, or maybe a mixture of watercolor and uh, colored pencil. I'm not quite sure, but it looks really cool. It's the Howler, of course. Yeah, that's nice. All right, so far everything's been nice. There are two more items, and I know exactly what they are because <laughs> I haven't found any of mine yet, so I know that these last two are mine. So first we have this tube, and then we have this envelope. So if you're familiar with my channel, you know that these are going to be props, paper props, you know, stuff like that. So first we'll look in here. There we go. And make sure it's right side up for you. There it is. The Yule Ball poster. So I designed this based off of the uh, design by Mina Lima. And I kind of put my own twist on it, put, put a, a few things in there that weren't really there. So it's not exactly a, a complete replica of what you'll see by Mina Lima, but it is close. So there's that. Yeah, this turned out really good. I like the feel of it too. Oh man, I wish I knew what kind of paper was used for this because it feels really nice. Anyways, let's go ahead and set that aside. And this is the item that I've been like really excited to see and hold in my hands. So it has sort of, the envelope isn't like it, I'm sure in the camera it looks just like a white envelope, but it, it does have a little bit of like a a shine to it, but what's inside might be even more shiny. Yes, here we go. So this is 
a Yule Ball invitation that I designed. Again, based on designs from Mina Lima, but not exact replica. I actually did change quite a bit in here. Okay, so now if I had to pick two items that were my absolute favorite and I can't pick my items, obviously this one, this would be my my favorite just because, you know, I'm really happy with how, the quality, how it turned out. And yeah, it's great. Cherry kind of basically, <laughs> When she contacted me about designing this, she said she had a basic idea. She wanted a Yule Ball invitation, um, and she said she just wanted it to be shiny. She likes the, the gold foiling and the silver foiling. She's like obsessed with that. So I decided I would do gold on the outside, silver on the inside, and make it as shiny as possible. So my favorite items, man, I think I'm gonna have to go with the pumpkin juice bottle and the queen. These are the chess piece. These are really, really cool. And just stuff I did not expect. Let me know what your favorite items were from this in the comment section below. Did you like what, I liked every single item in here. So it was really hard to choose my favorites. But yeah, I think when it all comes down to it, it would be the chess piece and the pumpkin juice bottle. And yeah, anyways, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.